Dear colleagues, I would like to to comment practically. Now we are in the era of the total accreditation. Please, dear doctors, remember that there is a, the camera radiotherapy of Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and uh, there will be cases devoted to this. Don't think that only uh, the uh, breast cancer uh, neck, the neck, the head uh, cancers and other localization cancers of other localizations do exist. The com comparison of the results of the chemo radio treatment of diffuse B, a large cell lymphoma of the mediastinum and retro peritoneum. The statistical data. According to the statistics officially in Moscow, only 20 patients out of 900, they have chemo and radiotherapy. The Moscow region and the whole country. Of course, the 14 and 12 percent, these percentages are very low. And even from my presentation, you should understand that it's insufficient. In Russia, we have a clear shift to chemotherapy. Uh, and uh, uh, pushing out radiotherapy from treatment of lymphomas. The USA, the article that is saying source, SOS, it's a database. National Cancer Database, 10,000 10, of patients. Authors say that the use of the radiotherapy in local non-Hodgkin's lymphomas of the high degree of uh, malignancy reduced during 12 years by 15 percent. Survival in chemo and th radiotherapy uh, statistically higher. The author made the conclusion the use of consolidated radiotherapy in diffuse B cell lymphomas in the USA is dropping down due to the influence of social economic factors. Uh, under the influence of big pharma, and it negatively it negative for survival rate of patients. In Russia, we have good facilities for radiotherapy. We have clinical recommendations, guidelines of uh, lymphoproliferative diseases. So they say uh, they uh, su uh, contain the tactics how to treat uh, B cell, uh, B. Uh, mediastinal B large cell lymphomas. Even uh, if there is no infect, in fact, uh, when there is high dose chemotherapy with bone marrow transplantation, there is place for radiotherapy for the re residual tumor. Ten years ago, the Italian group Martelli presented the results of chemo uh, radio treatment of mediastinal lymphomas. They are well studied group of lymphomas as to the use of radiotherapy. Uh, the long-term survival results higher than 80 uh, percent. The dissertation has been defended. Mediastinal B large cell lymphoma, chem and radiotherapy, the overall survival higher than 80 percent. Our data are in this range as well from 80 to 90 percent. 90 percent, it's recent, uh, the data of recent years, uh, the use with the use of rituximab. 
is to retro peritoneal reformers. Uh, in Maya, I saw the mentioning of these lymphomas. When I tried to find uh, this uh, in the literature, this information in the literature, only singular cases, only few cases are presented. Or some very limited experience of treatment. In domestic literature, I found only one mentioning of retroperitoneal lymphomas. It's uh, the article from Moscow, from the Hematological Center, uh, where follicular lymphomas are being analyzed. Do we know that the borderline between the uh, follicular lymphomas and uh, uh, large cell lymphomas uh, is a quite conditional borderline? The borderline is blurred. Follicular lymphomas, they are considered to be benign, but five-year survival rate is at very, very moderate level, 53%. Thinking about radiation, irradiation of uh, the retroperitoneal lymphomas, we should think about what we sacrifice. We sacrifice uh, the bone marrow in the, um, in the back vertebra, in the, uh, the sac sacrum, and it's 51% of the active bone marrow in adults. Comparing to mediastinal lymphomas, so where the only 25% of bone marrow is irradiated, is exposed. Thinking about this localization as radiotherapists, we should be clear about this. We should understand that in this situation, to spare the bone marrow, we need modern technologies, 3D MRI, the max maximum comfortable. Uh, let's uh, consider the following. 260 patients with mediastinal lymphomas and 62 patients with uh, retroperitoneal lymphomas. Uh, the incidence rate is four times rarely. Uh, and we don't have enough sufficient data as to the results of their treatment. The gender composition, the similar uh, uh, mediastinal lymphomas, so they are younger, 32 years of age, and 52 rather years of age peritoneal lymphomas. The stages of the disease, they are nearly the same. The first stage, the second, the only thing that the, uh, the second stage is seen more frequently in mediastinal lymphomas. Three, the third and the fourth stage. The third stage is mostly seen in retroperitoneal lymphomas, and the fourth stage, nearly the frequency incidence rate is similar. Stage A and B, B intoxication symptoms, so the, there is no difference practically. Uh, what's similar of these lymphomas? High rate of large tumors, mediastinal lymphomas, 75%, more than 10 centimeters in diameter, this size of tumor. In retroperitoneal, uh, nearly 60%. According to the International Prognostic Index, uh, there are no considerable differences between the groups, uh, the chemotherapy effect is nearly the same. The full effect, one-fourth of patients relapse, 4.6%. Uh, uh, the total dose, irradiation dose, um, 36 gray in retroperitoneal reformers, a bit less than in mediastinal. Uh, the overall survival comparison. 
All in all, there is no, uh, no great dif uh, differences, but in case of retroperitoneal lymphomas, uh, we see a, a bit better results. So women in lymphomas, uh, they showing better survival rates, compares, com comparable results uh, of mediastinal and retroperitoneal lymphomas. Uh, in the case of women, uh, the curves are very close to each other. In men, uh, but there is the tendency uh, there is 50% uh, long-term survival reign in retroperitoneal lymphomas. The age the results in uh, old patients, the results are very close. More difference we see in patients younger than 50 years. Uh, the first and the second stage, the results uh, worse in retroperitoneal lymphomas, uh, but in the third and fourth stage, uh, the results are similar in both groups. If the tumor less than 10 centimeters, uh, the results are better, but not statistically significant in retroperitoneal lymphomas. But in case of large tumors, uh, mediastinal lymphomas, uh, they show better results. Uh, uh, the um, error only 20 percent, but uh, there is a the tendency. How can we explain this? Possibly we as uh, radiotherapists, uh, we haven't worked out uh, the methods of uh, irradiation of these lymphomas because the chemotherapy regimen are the same. Uh, rituximab and the results of treatment where rituximab was used, the results are nearly the same. And surplus in five years survival rate for mediastinal lymphoma 17%, for retroperitoneal lymphoma 38%. In the regimens of uh, chemo radio treatment, rituximab is to be used. The only subgroup uh, uh, where we receive, and, uh, where we receive uh, quite considerable difference uh, is uh, the most favorable prognostic group, uh, prognostic international prognostic index uh, 0 0.1, but uh, survival rate in case of retroperitoneal lymphoma is considerably low by 25 percent comparing to mediastinal lymphomas. In uh, intermediate uh, group, the results are close. In uh, the non-favorable group, the results are practically the same. Chemotherapy effect, full remission, the results are similar in both groups of patients. In partial remission, here we can see it's the only group where we have statistically significant differences. Uh, the group with the partial remission, I think it happens because we as radiologists, oh, we haven't paid much attention to this group of patients due to the low incidence rates of these conditions. So the conclusions I'd like to make, the prognosis of mediastinal and uh, retroperitoneal diffuse, diffusive B large cell lymphomas is comparable with the use of the uh, Rituximus 
pop plus anthracycline, regimen of chemotherapy, therapy plus irradiation. Long extended results of chemo and radio treatment of some subgroups of patients with the retroperitoneal lymphomas worse comparing to mediastinals. It's necessary to continue detailed study of aggressive retroperitoneal non-Hodgkin's lymphomas using the uh, integrated database.